Hey, this is a reminder video of the Elemental Mega Menu. You gotta go over to your Elemental settings and make sure the menu is enabled. And then when you go over to your widgets and you go to menu, you will see. I'm gonna drop this in and it goes to the top. Look, this is a really simple video because some people are still struggling with it or they think it's not exactly working for them. It does work. At the moment, we have three items here. And what you gotta get used to is that if you have got a WordPress menu, that won't appear here unless you go and drop the WordPress menu into say item one. So whatever menu you've created in WordPress, this kind of works almost independently of that because you're now setting up your tabs or your buttons and you can style this to look how you want. But the idea is, is that for each one of these, when I hover over them, we may see some additional content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to item one and let's just go and call this home and then you would go and pop in your link for your home, let's just say. And item number two might be about me, for instance. And then we go to item three. Now this one might be services, but before they click and go to the services page, you wanna give them a breakdown because maybe you've got loads and loads of items there. So let's go and call this one services. And if you wanna have a link, you could do or you could leave that link blank and instead go for drop down content. And as soon as I do that, you will have noticed that little arrow appear. Look, if I take it off, that arrow is gone. You do it and it appears. And if you wanna change the icon, you can go and do that. But now when I go to services and I click it, I get this basically this area for me to drop some further widgets or containers. So I could go in and go and pick a layout like this. And I could then drop into here a heading. I could drop into here a text editor. And I'm just going to pop in random things here now. I could have a button over there. I could even go and drop in an image. You can do what you want. This is containers at the end of the day. But if we just go back over to our menu so that we can go to our services, that's the drop down content. Once you enable that. So if you did add a link, well, when you click it, it's going to probably take you someplace else and almost defeats the object of why you've got the mega menu. But by having a drop down and now you add in your items and I could drop in the WordPress menu here. So for instance, I could go and grab the WordPress menu like this and drop that in. Uh, let's just go and set that to be vertical. So let's say you've got something built like that. That could actually sit in there. So you may have created multiple menus, a services menu, a gallery menu, a case study menu. You could add them all in over there. Let's just go back over to this. Now you do have some options, obviously, you can set it as full width, you can set it as a boxed width, you can decide on your layout. Now at the moment, this is set to be a horizontal. If you were to go for drop down, you instantly go into the mobile, which we don't really wanna do. And I can align my items to in the middle, I can stretch them out left, right, and line. We'll just leave it on left, and I've already mentioned you've got the, sorry, there's the drop down indicators. I went and said it was over there. You got the drop down indicators there. The key bit though, or one of the important parts is the drop down effect. This at the moment, um, when I was showing you did work on click, you do have the option for hover or click. So if we were to now just go and hit update and go to preview and I now hover over that, can you see this has now appeared and I can click the button if I wanted to. This is a WordPress menu. So if I click it, it would take me elsewhere. I don't get that for the other two items because I did not enable the drop down content. You can have an animation with fade in and adjust that if you want. I don't overly worry about that because I feel like this is more than enough. You've got many items over here. Say you've got 20 items going all the way across. You may want to go and enable horizontal scroll. So when they're on the mobile or the desktop, they can kind of scroll like that to see the items. And I would leave the breakpoint as the tablet so that when we do get to the mobile like this, we now have that. Now, one thing you do have to bear in mind, Bo, is that obviously when you get to the mobile, you can see now that this is how it looks and you've got to adjust the way it basically looks in terms of presentation because it's going to look super, super busy and you might not want that. And you may want to use an alternate menu system so you could responsibly hide this when you get to the mobile. You've got to have a think about it. But in essence, this is really, really versatile and the mega menu, once you've enabled it, enabled it and you build it, it does work for you. That's like a really crash course intro if you weren't already used to it into the elemental mega menu. I'm Imran, Web Squadron. See you soon.